G'day, I'm Craig and this is my camping channel. Today I'll be reviewing the NS Capsule Adapter. I bought the Wakako Nanopresso NS Adapter directly from Wakako in Hong Kong. I bought it as a combo with the Barista and the Nanopresso. And it was cheaper to buy direct from Wakako in Hong Kong. So it would pay to shop around and see if you can get a good deal because the New Zealand was uh, significantly more expensive. Of course, on the negative side, delivery was a little slower. It took about two weeks. But New Zealand is at the bottom of the world and that's quite speedy coming from China. It came pretty much as it is in this box. I haven't opened it. As you can look at the outside, it has the instructions on this part here. And it says it's compatible with NS capsules. NS, it says, refers to Nespresso. Instructions. In multiple languages. Packaging. The NS adapter. Another brush. And a little bag for the NS adapter, which would be useful. And then, so we get the nanopresso. Remove the top basket, that's a new NS adapter on the top, remove brush and tamp, unlock and begin pumping. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, immense amount of pressure, no coffee. So after looking online, I decided that I needed new Nespresso capsules. The ones I had were compatible with an Nespresso machine and did work with an Nespresso machine, but they didn't work with the NS adapter and the Nanopresso. So I went to the shops and bought another brand of capsules and um, they worked perfectly. So I'll just do a quick clip of that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Nanopressor um, NS adapter alongside a clip of my Nespresso machine. I thought the biggest advantage of the Nespresso machine is convenience. So we'll compare it and time as well. It's recommended to preheat the Nanopressor. So I'm going to run some boiling water for it. purely so your coffee stays hotter when you make it. Okay, it appears to be all the hot 
water through. I'll just drain any excess hot water from the top of the chamber. in the NS capsule, screw down the top tightly, okay, remove the base, still a little bit of hot water in, I'll just top it up to the mark again. Secure the nanopressor, tighten the barrel, release the pump, and start pumping. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're getting espresso coffee. Smell espresso now. I can see some crema on the top. I'm getting a dark coffee. Here's our espresso from the nanopresso with the NS adapter. We have a crema and we have a small espresso. Yeah, the coffee is extracted. It tastes very good. <laughs> Identical, I'd say, to what the espresso machine was able to make with the same capsule. a tiny bit of sweetness from the crema. As an experiment, because I will probably continue to try to grind my own beans, it gives me an idea of what I can expect to get compared to a commercial product. The Nanopresso makes a very good espresso coffee for its price, for its size and portability. Basically, you have a small device which you can use with capsules or ground coffee, which can deliver an espresso coffee anywhere you take it. All you require is ground coffee, capsules, boiling water, and a nano espresso. Overall, I'm very satisfied with this device. I've enjoyed um, reviewing the nano espresso system. That includes um, the barista kit, if you look at my earlier uh, videos and now the NS adapter and the nanopressor on its own. I had a favorite for the nanopressor system it would be the Brista system because it delivers a double shot and allows me to use my own coffee grind so um, it just gives me more to play with and a bigger cup of coffee. Uh, anyway this is my last vlog before Christmas so Merry Christmas everybody um, Look forward to the new year.